Hey guys, it's Kara from iStampin.com, and this is my son, Ty. Ty, can you say hi, everybody? Hi! <laughs> I just wanted to um, uh, put out a quick message before we get today's tutorial to say we are doing really well here at Atlanta. This is our first weekend here, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the well wishes and encouragement and prayers that... Um, Ty and I have received since I put out my last video. Um, thank you so much. It's meant the world to me and to Ty. I've read every single post. You're right. And you're right. Yep, exactly. And um, like I said, thank you so much. It's um, we've, we've adjusted really well to Atlanta. We're doing good. Ty's doing really good in his feeding mm -hmm. program. He's finished his first week, so we just have um, 37 more days to go. And anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much, and here's today's tutorial. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, guys. We're going to make this card today using some of the uh, supplies from the Eastern Palace Premier Bundle and then also from the Vertical Greetings stamp set. Uh, this is a stamp set that you can find in our annual catalog currently. So I'm going to be starting off with a piece of fresh fig cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to score that at four and a quarter. Now you can get this from the Eastern Palace Premier Bundle. Um, this is one of the new in colors for the uh, catalog that you'll be receiving here very shortly. So um, the way to get it now is to get that uh, Eastern Palace Premier Bundle. So I'm just going to score that, or obviously I've scored it, and now I'm just going to crease it with my bone folder. And then I'm going to use shimmery white cardstock, and that measures three by four and a half. And then I'm going to cut a piece of the Eastern Palace Designer Series paper, which comes in that bundle. And that's a really pretty gold foil pattern. And that's just um, three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I took some of the other designer series paper. This is in Tranquil Tide, and I just cut a sliver of that. That's just a quarter of an inch by three inches. And that's going to go on the shimmery white um, cardstock here at, towards the end. So I'm showing you the stamp uh, that I'm going to use. And then I'm also going to use the thank and then the S from the congrats to make my sentiment. Now, I am using the brand new in color markers, but when you get the Premier Bundle, you do get the two ink pads that you'll need, which is Fresh Fig and Tranquil Tide. I've, I could have done masking, but I just, for convenience, I just wanted to use my new markers. Now, I forgot to bring my Stampamajig with me, so I'm using my Mini Misty, but the Stampamajig would work perfect for this. So what I'm showing you here is that I'm just stamping um, the vase and then that, uh, that bottom topiary. I'm going to eliminate that, um, that stem there in the middle. So here I'm just taking the fresh fig marker and I'm just coloring in that, uh, the bottom part of the planner, I guess is what you would call it, not the vase. So um, when you use the markers, uh, you do want to huff on them, uh, just activate the ink with your breath. So that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing that to my mouth just to huff on it. And then um, I'm actually going to do this twice. That's the one thing about, you know, when you use a stamp -a jig or the Mini Misty, um, that if you don't get a good impression, you can go right back and uh, re stamp it, and you know that it's going to line up perfectly. And so after this, I'm just going to wipe off the ink, and then I'm going to grab Tranquil Tide and uh, color in the topiary. Now, I did have to adjust the stamp. I had to shift it down just a little bit, and um, I didn't line it up perfectly. If I had my stamp -a jig I would have done a lot better job, but, you know, I have to... <laughs> I have to take what I have right now. So what I did is I just shifted the stamp just a little bit and um, a little bit down so that uh, the topiary uh, ideally is supposed to be right above the planner. 
So you can see there. I mean, that, that's pretty good. I had to eyeball it. So I'm going to come back and uh, re-stamp again, just coloring it in with my stamp and write marker. So like I said, you could do this with your stamp pads. What you would just do is you would just mask off the parts that you don't want inked up and then just remove that post-it note before you um, bring the stamp to the paper. It's very simple. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is work on the sentiment. So I've got the thank you and the congrats on blocks, but all I'm going to stamp is just the thank and then the S from the congrats. And then I'm going to take my scissors and individually cut each of these letters out um, into small little uh, rectangles. And then that's going to go below the, the planner. And when I stamped the S on this uh, piece of paper, I didn't stamp it right out. I'm not sure what I was thinking. I did it at an angle, so I had to re-stamp it because cutting it out was awkward. So um, stamp it the same direction. <laughs> so here I am just using my paper snips just to cut out each of these letters. And I'm going to speed it up here because I doubt you all want to see this. <laughs> So there's what the T's like, and then here you can see all of the letters that I've individually cut out. And I, I'm going to use the mini glue dots. That was the easiest way to adhere these um, letters on there. And I'm going to start off with this, the middle uh, letter. Um, I find that to be easier to kind of work from the middle and to go from right to left. Uh, just kind of helps center things. Um, I did have to readjust um a couple of times because it is. I mean, it's some, you know, you're kind of, I mean, unless you get out your ruler and figure it out precisely, you do kind of have to adjust. I, I do things a lot just by eyeballing things. So here I am kind of readjusting and I even readjusted one more time. It was still a little off center, but I think y'all get the idea. So now I'm just taking some linen thread and I'm going to tie a bow and I'm just going to use a glue dot to adhere that onto the front of the of the planner just to give it uh, a little bit of interest. And um, I like to use, I used to just do like using one segment and I always call those segments like where the bend is, but recently I found that I've had a hard time so I get, I get more than enough twine to make a bow so um, you know, don't, don't be chintzy, just get enough where it's not frustrating to tie a bow. <laughs> so there I'm just adhering it with the glue dot and I just mush that, uh, the bow into the glue dot and then I'm going to trim the tails. And then I'll be adhering the, um, the stamped panel onto the designer series paper here in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and pop this up with Stampin' Dimensionals. I like to uh, put a dimensional in each corner and then one in the center of the panel. Just uh, ensures that um, it's nice and secure, doesn't sag in the middle. So that's just going to go uh, centered in the on the card base. And that gold, gold foil is so pretty in person. And then here I'm going to adhere that little strip just at the bottom of the shimmery white panel. And again, I'm just going to use uh, glue dots just because um, of, the, of the width of that little strip. It, like I said, it's just a quarter of an inch, so it's pretty thin. And these glue dots are the perfect size to um, put that on there. So I'm just lining this up at the very bottom. And uh, if there's any overhang, I'll just trim it off with my scissors. So this, uh, just putting that, that little strip of Tranquil Tide Designer Series paper at the bottom just ties in with the, the foliage um, from the stamped image. So you can see my first attempt, I didn't do very good. <laughs> you can see how off-centered I was with the, with the foliage. So that's the great thing about our cardstock is if you mess up, just flip it over and try it again. All right, so here I'm just adhering that into the middle of the card base, just using snail. And there's the card, just really simple. Um, here you can insert a piece of uh, white cardstock to write your message. And I hope y'all like today's card that was using the vertical greeting stamp set and then items from the Eastern 
Palace Premier Bundle, which you're able to order now. If you have any questions, let me know. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I appreciate y'all joining me. Bye!